Hi everyone. I am just hooking up live here and we'll get going. Let me make sure I'm good. Alrighty. Right click. Perfect. Okay. Great. Okay. So I'll give you guys a few seconds, minutes to come on and I have some fun projects right up my alley to show you. Um, Sunday is International Tea Day, so I thought we should make some tea cards so we can mail them off to our friends um, in time, because today's Wednesday. If you make them today, tomorrow, you might get them there on time. If not, you just get them later. Uh, any day getting a tea card in the mail is a good one. All right, so if this is working, if you're on, please say hello or like or comment or somehow let me know that you're here. And um, I'll just make sure I think we're good. It's a beautiful day out here today. Um, it's like 70 degrees. It's beautiful. So um, I have a feeling my local friends are outside uh, walking or gardening or doing something, um, which I'm jealous. <laughs> I'll get out there. All right. So um, let me get situated here. And I think I'm just going to flip the camera. All right, so give me a second. Oh, great, so we have someone watching. Jan, hello, thanks for joining. Um, so now I know it's working. Um, I was saying that Sunday is International Tea Day and I'm, I am a huge fan, a tea drinker. I drink um, probably a couple cups a day. My uh, family jokes I don't have a tea cup, I have a big tea mug because I like a big cup of tea. Um, so I thought we could make some tea cards to celebrate and so these are easy ones to send in the mail. So I'm just going to flip, hi Kim, thanks for joining, I'm just going to flip this. So give me a second, you might get dizzy. I'm going to figure out how to do this better and hopefully it's not too dark. I don't have my light on. I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to actually plug in the light because it looks like it's a little dark. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Okay. So let's make sure this is straight. And you can see what I'm doing. All right. So let me actually move this stuff so you can see better. I have two tea cards and I'm going to do a little tea envelope too. All right, so good news is, let's move this over. Um, this bundle was um, not available last week, but it is now available. Yay. So for those who wanted to know, um, I sent a, a post out yesterday, but um, it is now available. The tea, um, I think they're called tea boutique cards and envelopes. Yeah, um, actually that's what I'm gonna use today. They are on um, low inventory, so they're still available, but right now they're low inventory. So if you like them, you might want to grab them. Um, but I, I've told you before, I just love this whole set. I love the colors. I love the tea. I think it's just really happy. So um, it will not be the last time you see me using it for sure. All right, put that aside. So these are two cards. We're going to do them different colors, but I think before we do that, um, I was trying to remember, we used to make these a while ago, so they were, let me get it together, they were like little pockets, this is just not the paper I'm going to use, but, um, and the little tea bag fits inside, so I'm going to show you how to do that, and I thought if you, um, wrapped up, and I actually didn't bring any extra paper for this, but you can just take some paper and wrap it around, and then you can ha and then matching, you can give a little tea and biscuits away. So how you make these envelopes, and they're kind of fun. I had to remember, that's why I used old paper. Um, I'm just gonna use this paper. It works perfectly with six by six, which is what the tea paper is. Hello, Debbie, thanks for joining. We're making some tea cards today. I'm gonna make this little pocket first. Um, so you have to decide which side you want to be on the outside, and which side you want to be on the inside. So I think I'm going to have this little gingham be on the inside. So that, again, this is just six by six paper. And I'm just going to take the bottom and bring it up to the top. And fold. Let's use our bone folder so we can have nice edges. And then I'm going to take my left point over to this edge here so that this line is 
uh, perpendicular, I guess, straight. So I'm going to crease this. And then I'm going to take this corner pocket, this corner, over to this little corner here. And again, that will be straight with it. Actually, the bone folder is very helpful. And then you just fold this part down and you have this really cute little pocket. So you don't even have to glue it. So then you can find like a little tea bag and it um, you can, fits a little bit on the diagonal or if you wanna fold it over, squish it down, but the little, the tea fits a nice little pocket. And like I said, if you got, um, if you had Coordinating, actually, I have tea paper up here. This was my paper share. I'm just going to show you all the patterns. You could, if you wanted it to be the same, you could, picture sure looking different, but you could wrap this around, you know, and glue that and then have a little tea and biscuit, a little tag. So if you wanted to, you could even take a um, cutout teacup. You can put that on there or... I was just grabbing circles. I don't know if that's too big, but you could. I think we're gonna do this color. You could stamp if you don't have if you don't have the stamp set. You could just find any stamp. This one just is actually from it. It says "Let's get together soon," and you could put a little label on it like that, which is kind of cute if you're gonna give away. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you the cute little pocket. Let's see, I think I have the wrong green. Well, it's kind of okay. I don't know if I like the, I'll play with it. I'll play with it. All right, so that was pocket and I'm gonna show you the cards. So I am using, these are the note cards and envelopes for the Tea Boutique. And I've used them before and showed you before. Um, they, these are all the new in colors, which just make me very happy. They're nice and bright and fun. And then these are the cards. So they come pre-printed and scored. And so they match the envelopes. So they're nice. They're nice. You get 20, I believe, in the pack. All right. So I have the one that we're going to do. I was just trying to decide which card we're going to do first. We'll do this one first because it's closest to me. So this, I'm just going to do it in different colors. So there's a little pocket. This just opens up. You write your message on the front, but the pocket of tea just goes like that. And I forgot to check if two, yeah, you can actually get two tea bags in there if you wanted to put two bags, bags in there. Okay. I just thought I, for, I did forget something, but it's okay. We'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna use the soft uh, sweet sorbet card, and that's the envelope. So what I did is I already pre-cut um, the scallop from Scallop Contours, and that's the one that has like, I think it's four or five different kind of shapes of the contours. So it's um, the, kind of the middle size one. You could use um, the stitched rectangle dies you could use there's a bunch of rectangles you could use you could just cut a rectangle if you don't have a die and do it but I just thought the scallop was pretty that's right so the first thing I'm going to do is glue it down on three sides I do not want my top you can see it better I don't want my top to have glue so three sides this is the top and I'm just going to Put it down. And you could totally do this with a regular card. You don't have to use these. I just thought they were pretty and easy. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit and dry for a second. I already cut out, oops, here we go. I already cut out this shape and that's from, I didn't bring them up either. That's from the new, hmm, what are they? Let's look them up. They're new, they kind of replace the old um, stitched shapes. They're stylish shapes. I need to learn these new names, but that's the one I used. So it comes with circles, it comes with squares, and these banners, 
or pennants. Um, stylish shapes. That's what they are. So I already cut that out. And this is the tea paper. This is actually, oh no, it's not the same paper I just did. But it's from the tea, the tea boutique paper. So I'm just going to glue that down. Like this is quite easy. And you don't have to. You can leave that blank. You could um, stamp on it. I just thought it gave a little a little color, a little something. And I already stamped and cut out the um, teacup. And that's, again, with the tea paper. So actually, that's the back side of that paper. And that's with, I stamped it with Blushing Bride to match. And I've told you before, it's not my favorite color, but it matches. So it looks good because it matches. I'm going to actually, I picked this tea bag on purpose because it kind of matched because there's orange in here. So I'm just going to slide that in there. And then I'm going to put dimensionals. Just do one on the top, one on the bottom. Put that there. I do wish that this tea set, where is it? So this, I love it, but I wish the tea set had like those lines to indicate that it's hot, you know, like sometimes they do that on coffee. We'll have to draw it, but I wish there was a stamp that had that. And I already stamped my tea bag. So I did orange to match my tea bag and my flowers. And then I did the, it's time for tea in the new starry sky. And I'm going to use white twine to make a bow. And uh, I'm going to use the mini glue dots, which are, uh, you're probably not going to see. They're little, they're probably like, what, quarter inch? Oh, these ones on the outside. They're a quarter inch. So it's a little bit, if I put my, again, I don't know if you can see, but if I put my bow on it, you can kind of see the glue circle around it. So what I've been doing for this is I just take the glue dot off and roll it into like a little ball. And then stick it on there so there's just this little ball of glue and then I put my bow on top right on the knot so you can't really see it that way and it sticks so there you go so there is one tea card same card just different colors all right so the next one oh and the matching envelope of course so then it looks kind of pretty when it comes in the mail all right oh. I just dropped what I needed. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> My papers just fell on the floor. All right. So I already pre-stamped and cut the lemons in the tea bag just to save time. But on this one, actually, I do need to cut. And that's what I was thinking. Oh, no, I forgot something. But I can use my old, actually, I can use that. All right, so this is what we're going to do. You don't know what I'm going to do. Where's the card? Here's the card. All right, sorry, look, just combobulated. So this card, I did two teacups, and that's what I wanted to show you, because there's only one die. So I'm going to show you how I do two teacups. Um, and this one opens up, and there's two tea bags inside. So it says, let's get together soon, two teacups. And then this one is good. If you have larger tea bags, the larger one won't. Well, actually, I don't know. Let's see. Um, nope. The larger one doesn't quite fit in that one. So it fits in this one. Or if you just wanted one pocket, you could fit two tea bags in the one pocket. But I'm going to show you why there's two here. I close it and it fits in the envelope fine even though it's thick it fits just fine okay so let's I'm going to use this background I love this one this pattern is also in the tea paper 
So some of the patterns are in the tea paper and some of them are in the um, designers, the new designer series paper. All right, so we don't need that. We need this one for our teacups. And I'm just gonna cut, because I'm gonna use my mini machine. Make sure that that's wide enough. All right, so I really just need a strip. Actually, I'll have, so my teacup is gonna go like that. So let me grab my machine. Good thing I leave it up here. Okay. So we need the white plate, the clear plate, this clear plate. So I'm gonna cut out one teacup. This is the one that because my workstation moves, I don't get a good grip. There we go. I wonder if this would help too. It does help. All right, so we have the one teacup. So I want two teacups of the same pattern, but my die only goes in this direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my paper over and cut it out. So it's gonna cut on the reverse side and then we'll just flip it over. How is that for clever? So when you take this out, and you flip it over, you get two teapots of the same pattern. So you can do that with a lot of dies. Okay, so we have our two tea mugs, tea cups, I should say. Um, this is the larger scallop. So remember for the other one, the other card I used a smaller one. This one I used this one of the same set, the scallop contours. And, nope, oh, that's not what I want. Where is, there it is, sorry. This is what I want. All right, so I'm gonna glue. I feel like my workspace is way too small today. All right. So before I glue it down, I'm gonna decide where I want my mugs to be. Probably about there, and then I'm gonna stamp the let's get together soon. Let me do that right in the little bottom corner there. And I did that with a sweet sorbet. All right, so now I can glue this down. I know why I'm discombobulated. I've hardly eaten today. I had a bowl of cereal this morning, played pickleball, came home, Got this all together and I forgot to eat lunch. All right, so I already have my lemons. My aunt always has lemon in her tea, so I think of her when I have lemon tea. All right, so I'm gonna have these go in kind of opposite directions. All right, so now I'm gonna glue this one down I come from a big tea drinking family. All right, so I'm putting the lemons down first because those are going underneath. And I know I've told you this before, but these lemons can easily be turned into oranges and limes, even grapefruits, just by changing the color. All right, there we go. So then, here they are, my little tags. And I played with doing bows on here like I did the other one. 
it was a little too busy, I thought. And I thought of gems, but that didn't work, so I decided just to kind of leave it be. Didn't want it too busy. Oh, but we didn't put our insides in. That's why I needed this paper. Okay, so that's the front. So the inside for our pockets, I decided to cut it. I just wanna make sure it's the right. So when you do this um, with a directional paper, let's see, hold on, before I do say that. So I'm cutting it four by five and a quarter, which would be like the first layer of a card, right? So if you use a directional paper like this one, you just wanna make sure I'm looking at it to, to know where to put my diagonal line because if I cut it on this side and I cut it and then my teacups could be upside down. So the other side doesn't matter. You'll see in a second. So I want my diagonal line. Like this one, this pattern didn't matter. But I want my teacup to be on this side. So I'm gonna put my diagonal line right here. So that means I'm gonna put this point in this point to cut. So I'm putting the point here and the point here in the little cutting reservoir, I guess they call it. So like this one is, that's what I want it. That obviously would be upside down, but we're gonna use that side of it. Hopefully that makes sense. Did I lose my, oh, I lost my card. All right, so I'm just gonna put some glue just on the two edges. Right there. And then on the other side. I actually meant to do this part first to give it time to dry before I put the tea bags in. But you can see, you just you just slide your tea bags in. And you can write a message underneath. You can write a message. On this one, you can't. You'd have to write the message underneath. Unless you um, put like a circle here and you can write a message. I'm just going to let these dry, though, before I put tea bags in them. Hi, Cindy. Yes, this bundle is fabulous. And it is back in stock. So I'm happy to tell you that. Um, I was saying that the... Where did they go? I've like lost everything here. The cards and um, the note cards and envelopes I use to make these cards are uh, on low inventory right now. They're still available, but they right now they're low. They'll get more in too, but um, it's great. So let me actually close that. Oh, I'm crooked this whole time. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so you can see it. All the cards I did. Let me put the tea bag back in this one. And again, the tea bags are on the inside of those ones. And where's my little pocket? I never glued this down, but I made this little pocket at the beginning so a tea bag can fit inside. And I suggested you could even take some cookies and take some paper and just measure it and just wrap it around and glue it. And then you can have, you can either put like a teacup on here or you could put a little label on here and you can give tea and biscuits or tea and cookies to somebody for Sunday because it's International Tea Day. All right, there you can see everything, I think. All right, it's a great bundle. Um, it's definitely loved because it sold out for a little while. So it's definitely loved by a lot of demonstrators pre-ordered it to make lots of samples. And that's great for you because all you have to do is type in, um, in a search bar, Tea Boutique Stampin' Up, and you'll come up with a whole bunch of samples. And I'll post these as well. So they'll be on there. Alrighty, I think that's what I had for today. Um, let me go through my mind. Yeah, I think that's what I had. Um, so celebrate International Tea Day on Sunday. Make a cup of tea. I'm actually going to go make myself a cup of tea right now because I'm hungry. Um, and I'll have to find something to go with it. Um, yeah, I appreciate you joining. Um, if you are new, watching this for the first time, hello, Christine Josty. Um, I call myself Mail Something Pretty. And you can visit my blog, mailsomethingpretty.com, anytime for posts. Uh, for links for different things, um, definitely sign up for my mailing list. 
and you can do that right on my blog and I send out emails um, every Tuesday and sometimes maybe one or two more a week depending on what's going on. Um, I just sent one yesterday on masculine cards actually and I'll do more on that and I was going to do it today but I thought we should do tea cards because of the, the holiday coming up. All right. Um, hi, Sherry. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you like it. Um, I tr these are easy and you can, um, and I did that on purpose and you can improvise or substitute with whatever you have. Cause I thought I'm going to send a few in the mail tomorrow. Um, you don't have to use these tea boutique note cards. You can use any kind of cardstock. You can use any kind of rectangle or, um, you know, you know, whatever layer you want. This I used a rectangle you just need it just something to create a pocket and you can even cut a rectangle to fit your card just measure your tea bag and just do it a little bit longer actually I can tell you that this is three and three quarters inches wide um, so just something so you can have a pocket but you can definitely improvise and substitute and I'd love to see what you do I have um, a VIP Facebook page called Mills oh, what is it called um, I will post the link in the comments because it's mail something pretty um, VIPs, but I forget what the title is to find it. Um, VIP being very important paper crafter. Um, but you can post photos of your creations on that page, whereas I don't think you can post them on this page. You might be able in the comments, but you can't create your own post. But on the other one, you can. So I encourage, um, I love it when people post pictures of their cards. So put, make some stuff and put your versions up on, the, um, on that page. That would be great. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, I thank you so much for following me and um, joining me on the lives and my newsletters and my posts and all that kind of stuff. Because um, I love what I do and I love to share what I do. All right. Have a wonderful day. If you are in this area, it is beautiful out. So go outside and enjoy the sunshine. It's like 70 degrees. It's perfect weather. Um, if you are, looks like someone's from best, best Ah, West Virginia, Debbie, you are from the Midwest. Um, I don't know what your weather is, but hopefully it's nice. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to end off, but I really appreciate you joining. I hope you like the cards and make some tea cards, and I'd love to see what you make. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.